hours of stimulating moments enhanced and glued by some hand-picked music. So, all I need to quantify that statement are the high-vibe calibre thoughts yours, obviously, that make us together quite the unstoppable force. So, talking to yourself, have you been overheard? I'm ve- I am very chatty with myself. Very comfortable in my own company, I think. Uh, so, talking to yourself or maybe thinking out loud. Have you got a story about that? Uh, delivery incidents. Did your purchase make it? Uh, was it in an odd place? Perhaps you were forced to go to the oddball neighbour's house to collect it. Well, maybe, um, what the hell's that? Maybe it was an odd substitution or a a memorable driver. Uh, Misheard words and malapropisms and, of course, predictive text, because these days it's guessing the last few letters of every word I text to anyone. Driving me, it's driving me nuts. Uh, Top bird Trumpingtons, of course. I'm hoping for a puffin story mainly because I saved one from last week. Thank you, Rachel. So, oddities in your home and uh, the sort of thing that you might have to explain. And along with that, maybe, uh, downstairs loos. Let's talk about them, the exciting downstairs loo of a friend. I mean, it is the place for sort sort of, uh, yeah, the more curious item. You've got a bit of time on your hands to... uh, I remember in the 70s, 80s, you know, like if you were going out with somebody and their mum was a bit, well, they might have uh, a particular poster or poem on the door of the loo because, you know, maybe it was If by Rudyard Kipling, that sort of thing. It is a place to put sort of in, right, I'm rambling, shall I crack on? (laughs) You bet, lady. Celebs in your dreams, of course, and tenuous links to a famous, that might have a few legs left in it, a trigger words and sounds for your pet. Things that you daren't say or you do. Or maybe it's, ooh, you're going out. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Uh, Lockdown revelations. Maybe you happened upon a new product or method of doing something. And maybe you had the time to give something a chance and it's changed your way of thinking or, you know, I I don't need to go too deep on that, but I don't think we talk about the good side of lockdown because there was plenty to be to be upset about. I know that, we know that. But let's talk about the discovered pleasures, the new habits, the things that make you feel better, please. And your big garden use, talking of feeling better. I mean, it's budding time down here. My tulips are well up. I'm wondering, is the north feeling that warmth yet? <sighs> Just saying, it's not a north-south thing, it's a weather thing. Let me know. Uh, Skating, of course, it's a sort of all-you-can-eat buffet tonight. Do what you like, but do let me know what you are doing. You know, we like to keep tabs on it, so you get excited. Insults that your children have used on you that you have to fake horror because actually they're quite funny. Or just clever. (laughs) And uh, we're celebrating an as-yet unspecified object. First come, first serve. We don't know what it is. It could be a ladder, it could be a cork, but we are all obliged to be gracious about that object. Maybe pull a few tails out. Whatever it is, as soon as Ben gets it, we're in. I'll give you the shout. And I do want you...